Hey guys, let's take a look at uh, combinations and permutations. So if you can, try to uh, disregard what's over on the left part of the screen first. That's a permutation question, so we'll go over that second. And first we'll do like just the, the combination question, which is math-wise like a little bit simpler and time-wise uh, simpler too. Okay, so you see where it says 2R, 3B, 4G. Okay, so in this case, it would be a combination like you have two red hats, three blue shirts, and four green pair of pants. Okay, how many different combinations uh, are there of all these different uh, clothing items? Okay, so when you have something like this, right, just strictly that's a combination question, then we just multiply the possibilities together. So we just have two times three times four. Okay, so two times three is six times six times four is 24. And so then you have 24 combinations, really. And that's all you have to do, really. So that's just, all you have to know is that you multiply numbers together. So when you have something straightforward like that, it's just a combination, then you just multiply the numbers together and you're done. That's how you solve combinations. Okay, on the left, you have a permutation question. Okay, so that's a little bit different. So in this example, we're gonna say you have six people in an office and three of the six people are going to get a free trip to Hawaii based on who has the best, you know, sales numbers for the year or something like that. Okay, so three get to go, right? And so then you have to do a combination. And so what I wrote out here is, like, I'm just, each letter is representing a person, right? So you have person A, B, C, D, E, and F, right? And then how many combinations can you possibly make? So you just start off at the beginning, like the most obvious combo is A, B, and C, right? And then just kind of going down the list, then you have A, B, D, A, B, E, A, B, F, okay? And that's all of the combinations that have A and B, right? And then next, back here up at the top, A, C, D, A, C, E, A, C, F. Then you're doing the same thing with A, D, E, A, D, F, A, E, F, okay? Now we've used all of our A combinations. Then you go to B, like B, C, D, all the way down the list, and then you do it with, with all the Bs, uh, all the Cs, and then there will also be a D, E, F combination. That will be the only combination that you can have uh, just with D that doesn't include either C, B, or A. And E and F don't have any combinations by themselves because we need three people. Okay, so then once you've done all of that, you just add up, well, how many total combinations are there, right? And the total number of combinations are 20 and that's the answer for your uh, your permutation question there so permutations will take a little bit more time it'll usually be a question pretty similar to what we just did it's not really there's almost no math to it at all you're just like lining up this is how i would recommend doing it the different letters for recommend for representing a uh, different number of people which is almost always what it will be and again combinations just means just multiply the numbers together and then you're good to go